Okay, good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to this pension board meeting on Monday the 16th of September 2024. Uh, apologies, we're starting approximately half hour late. The investment panel before overran. Um, what did you say? So, uh, there's a shared bit, so it's half hour in the way. So it rises at 12, this one. Um, so apologies for that. Um, I'll start through the agenda then. So apologies for absence. I have none since we are all here, which is very pleasing to see. Thank you, and I'd like to welcome Councillor Anne-Marie Cousins, who joins us on the Pension Board, and look forward to her contributions. So that should be good. Uh, moving on to urgent business, uh, there is none. Uh, then number three, declarations of interest. It has been noted there's an error in the pack on the interest that the employer representatives hold. Uh, that's going to be corrected going forward. So um, I am not a governor of Charleston Manor Primary School and uh, Councillor Cousins is not Councillor Bauer. So that will be resolved <laughs> very shortly, thank you. Uh, if I could move on to item number four. Yes, Councillor Cousins. If I could just add, um, I am a member of the pension scheme. Um, I don't pay into it anymore, but just to put that on the table if there's an issue there, thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Cousins, that's good. And actually, you remind me, I shouldn't quite move on yet. Are there any other declarations of interest from panel members? No, lovely, thank you. Uh, on to item four then. Are members happy to agree the minutes from the meeting held on the 22nd of July, 2024? Any issues arising? Agreed, yep, yeah, I'll sign those then when available. Um, whilst they're being found, I'll just skip past item five, which was the introduction to climate risk management training, which we all just received at the end of the last meeting, uh, which then brings us on to item number six, the knowledge and understanding policy and framework. So I'll pass over to Julian for that, please. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Chair. Um, just just a, re a reflection um, to, new, to new members on this. So, this item is an annual item and it just reflects their knowledge and understanding policy. So what training we've undertaken um, past year and what training we plan to undertake. Um, 1.2 of the report just advised new members and existing members to participate in the free online training provided by Barnett Waddenham as detailed in 3.2. The only additional um, item that's been added to this paper is the fact that going forward we'll do a survey and assessment after each training. And apologies, it was a bit disjointed, I think, today, but we'll plan to get the question in advance of the meeting and we'll collect it and assess it. Thank you, Chair. That's all I have to say. Thank you, everyone. And uh, just on that one, slightly before we go to questions, there is a note in here, if I recall, and I'm just trying to find out about the numbers of. Um, that have undertaken it, so it was one out of the four have undertaken the training. So I would like to seek a commitment from members, and including myself in that, I am not the one that did it, uh, to give that training a go and have a go by next time we meet, if that's agreeable to everyone involved. Yeah, thank you. And Councillor Cousins, thank you. Um, sorry, just to say that um, I don't know if that one, I, I think that one is from before. Um, I'm now a new member, so that number has possibly gone up because I've had the online um, and I've also looked at the self-serving online. That's different to the online Zoom training or Teams training. I've done that one. But um, I've gone online. But I, I must um, say that um, <clears throat> the speed at which we can do it is, is balanced with everything else that we've got to do, which is part of the difficulty. So I've done one of the online ones with one of the... And it isn't one, it's a series. So it's, when you go into one, it's a series of sessions and the test that goes with it i did it twice and got 100 percent the second time <laughs> <laughs> well i didn't pass with 7.7 percent or whatever it was so i had to do it again um so that there is a timing issue with that and i'm not even having done it the second time and got the 10 the 100 percent I'm not necessarily certain that it's all going to stay in because we're doing so many things. And I think there's an element of being realistic about this. We are doing so many things and I'm not going to be here as though I'm a professional because I'm not. I'm going to be dependent on the professionals. But hopefully it will give me, in due course, a better understanding. But I just wanted to make that clear because we are really very busy. It's a difficulty. Thanks. 
No, thank you for that, Councillor Cousins. And I, and I think what's key here is that, you know, it's, it's a shame that there is a fresh hole to cross, but I think in, in terms of to pass or fail, because I don't regard... I don't regard it as a pass or fail. I think if we're just increasing our knowledge to do it and do that, and we do have a duty to understand this, and I think we do over time as well, but it, it would be good if we could just kind of give that one a go while we're, the fund isn't paying for it either. It's a free trial. Yeah, uh, Alistair, please. Uh, thank you. I just wanted to endorse that point about the time that Dickens having <clears throat> had a go at them. They are very intensive because they've got... Uh, several aspects, several different ones you have to go to before the the exam, and then that's you know if you don't get that right, you have to go all the way back. And I found myself rereading and rereading them. So it is a big time commitment. Uh, and to add to that, uh, which may in some ways contradict it, I do feel that probably we ought to hold ourselves to something a bit more specific than just we will do it. I know that you mentioned that, Nick. The do it by next time or do something by next time. But I just wonder if we need a more kind of specific staged plan to do certain things by certain time. Because it, it's, it's a bit of a kind of uh, wish, well, as, as it is now, we will do it, but what will we do and by when, you know? It's kind of a... uh, Alistair, I thank you for that point. And, and I think perhaps, Julian, it, perhaps a training timetable for us that we could agree next time might be better, like that's some key objectives that in terms of training that we can complete that factors in that feedback that time is a challenge. You know, I don't know, a lot of the e-learning I've seen has an estimated time to complete the course, right? So I wondered, is that provided in this training? And if so, could we agree to commit, you know, I don't know, X a month to be able to do training on this? And then we map that to the objectives of what we can do, I think. Is that, is that feasible? Yeah, okay, thank you. So if we can make that as a kind of action for those that tune in to pick up, then other than that, then our members happy, do we have any further questions or comments on that item? Uh, Simon, please. Yeah, it's only a minor thing, but on um, page 59, uh, 2.8, uh, about the away day, it says, this is an opportunity to cover training on a vast number of topics. Well, I don't think we can cover a vast number. Yeah, to the honest, and if you did, I don't think there'd be much detail. So can you just take out the word vast? <laughs> yeah, thanks to that, Simon. We will certainly update it, yeah. Great, thank you all. That said, then, are members happy to agree the report given that feedback? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Excellent. Right, OK. Move on to item seven, which is the pension panel meeting activity. Uh, are we happy to note the minutes of the uh, Pension Investment and Administration Panel held on the Monday, the 22nd of July, 24? And are there any questions or feedback to the panel? No, no I'll take that as agreement then. Excellent, that's item seven. Okay then, uh, we'll now move on to uh, the restricted area. So item of business eight contains information which is exempt from the provisions of the Local Government Act 1972, Schedule 12A, because it discloses information relating to the financial or business affairs of any particular person, including the authority holding that information. Therefore, the rest of this meeting will be in closed session and the public, including the press, are requested to leave. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'll let you turn that off then. As we move into item eight, fund manager performance.